Hi there. Here I'm going to show you how to install a Citrix delivery controller for Zen App or Zen Desktop version 7, which can either be for a brand new deployment or just to add a delivery controller to an existing one. So here I've got a Hyper-V console onto the vanilla server VM dedicated to this role as an admin, although I could have RDP to it. So I've already mounted the installation ISO, so let's go and run the installer. Again, it auto runs or I can just go and uh, select it. So Zen App or Zen Desktop at this stage doesn't matter because the delivery controller installation is identical between the two. And here we see top left delivery controller. So we'll click on that and go away and get the separate installer for that. So we could do a silent install from here as well, just using the MSIs under the hood. So once we've read the license agreement and agree to it, click through onto next. What are we going to install? Well, again, best practice suggests that we don't want to install any other roles on this machine. Even Studio, we generally wouldn't use it in day-to-day -day admin, but we'll need it for first-time configuration of the delivery controller once the installation has completed. We're going to use an external SQL database. Again, best practice, we don't want to use the, uh, the internal. Open up the firewall ports automatically that it requires. Now it shows us the prerequisites that need to be installed, so we'll click through Install onto those go through and do those for us. It's going to need a reboot part of the way through, but again, the installation will actually pick up after the reboot as long as we log in again as the same user that we've logged into here. So now the prerequisites have finished installing, and it's telling us it needs a reboot before it can continue. So we'll click close on that, which will initiate the reboot. And as you can see, it's installed some Windows components. So now we're going to log in again with the same account that we were logged into previously, where the installer will then pick up from where it left off and proceed with the installation of the delivery controller itself. Now moved on to the delivery controller install itself. As Studio is done, go on to the last few components. We're now prompted to see if we want to install the smart tools, which is a range of tools which uh, help particularly on the uh, support side of things, as long as you've got this within your software subscription. So I'm going to connect at this point, supply citrix.com, login details, and assuming the sign-in works, it effectively just allows us to tick that box and then install the smart components as part of this installation. They can be added later if required, if you don't have the internet connectivity at this point. So see now we have the connected tick box. I'll click through next on that. Installation's just about finished now. We'll untick the launch studio. Studio will be launched at this point to configure the product, but we're going to cover that in a separate session. And that's it. We've now have a installed delivery controller. Thank you.